That one's for all you tree huggers out there. <laughs> a little counting crows with uh, Big Yellow Taxi. Uh, good morning, this is DJ Doc V. You're listening to Office Hours with DJ Doc V. We're here every Friday from 10 a.m. until 11. Uh, thanks for tuning in. i got some great music selected for you today. That, that one there I've had on my uh, Spotify repeat pl- playlist. Uh, I've been playing that one a lot these days, so... Uh, uh, looks like all the uh, the music, well, I, I got one song from the 21st century, but everything else, 20th century today. <laughs> or, well, okay, another one. I see another one here that might be uh, uh, 21st century. But uh, got some Bob Seger, got some Ben Folds, a little Led Zeppelin. Going to put that out there for you this, uh, this morning. Uh, it's 82 degrees in uh, a beautiful Edinburgh at the UTRGV campus. You're listening to Vaquera Radio, the Valley Student Station. Uh, I've got a great poem picked out for you. Uh, we'll do that at about 50 minutes after the hour. And as always, at the bottom of the hour, we'll be doing This Day in History. Uh, always interesting. And uh, it relates to, if any of you all have seen the new Elvis movie, the Baz, L- Baz Luhrmann, Baz Luhrmann, whatever his name is. Uh, it's a rather frenetic and, uh, and really uh, kind of a sens- attack on your senses. Uh, that that new movie, um, he's always uh, uh, very creative with uh, the film work that he does. So, uh, but I would give it two thumbs up. I would say uh, it's worth seeing um, the new Elvis movie by Baz Luhrmann, uh, and uh, and so we're gonna do. Uh, 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 let's see here. What do we? Got? <laughs> uh, another uh, simply red. Uh, hold steady. Uh, I'm just all over the place this morning. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. Stick with us for the next hour. Uh, and we got some great music coming your way right now. Back to the music. This is an in-studio recording from uh, 89.3 The Current up in Minneapolis. Uh, their modern music, or uh, I guess you could call it, you know, uh, alternative music uh, station. Uh, it's not, you know, a lot of uh, NPR stations are classical. But this one plays uh, modern music, local music. Uh, and this is, a, this is a local artist from Minneapolis called Atmosphere. It's a song called Smart Went Crazy. Only on Vaquero Radio, the Valley's student station. Oh, he's got that one on repeat, too. Oof, love that one. There's Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band with Hollywood Nights. Good morning, Vaqueros. This is DJ Doc V. You're listening to Office Hours. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, before that, we had Billy Joel with uh, a nice little number, Don't Ask Me Why. And we started off that set with some Atmosphere, local band from Minneapolis. Uh, Smart Went Crazy. It's kind of a fusion with the... Uh, You know, kind of alternative and rap and all kinds of cool stuff there. So, good morning. This is DJ Doc V. You're listening to Office Hours. We'll be here until 11 o'clock. Remember, we've got at the bottom of the hour, uh, This Day in History. And then uh, we also have uh, a poem for you from the most recent edition of Gallery Magazine. If you haven't gotten your your copy of Gallery Magazine, make sure you pick it up. It's all good stuff. It's all students uh creative works it's art it's got uh poems it's got short stories uh you know animation well you know illustration i guess is better not animation <laughs> it's a, it's a it's still a paper magazine right but but really quality work that's done by uh by utrgv students that are uh enormously creative um and uh, you know there are other uh public universities in texas that put out uh, magazines with student work, uh, including poems and art and uh, illustrations and short stories. But man, Gallery Magazine, just fantastic, fantastic. Pulse Magazine as well. Uh, both uh, products of uh, student media here at UTRGV. So uh, if you haven't had a chance, just pick pick up those uh, those magazines and check them out. This is great stuff in there, great stuff. Support your fellow vaqueros uh, by reading their stuff. And uh, uh, you'll enjoy it. It's good stuff. So uh, let's get back to the music with uh, a little bit of R.E.M. from their Dead Letter Office LP. Uh, This is a cover of a Velvet Underground song. This one's called Pale Blue Eyes. Only on Vaquero Radio, the Valley's student station. That's a special one going out to Seth in OKC. He's working hard today as he does every day. And... uh, you know, that's a special one. Uh, hopefully he's doing well. And uh, I just got to see him a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that's my son. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> he's awesome. Yeah. We love that song. Uh, that's Ben Folds with Still Fighting It from uh, what is it? Rock in the Suburbs. 
uh, LP. Before that, you heard Simply Red from their picture book LP with Heaven, which is actually a cover of a Talking Heads song. If you ever get a chance to see, uh, which one is it? Uh, Stop Making Sense. That's their uh, concert video from the early 80s. Uh, they, uh, uh, David Byrne does an acoustic version. He's got his acoustic guitar. He does that song, Heaven. Uh, and Simply Red remade it. Uh, and theirs became a little bit more popular uh, in the 80s. Started off that set with R.E.M.'s uh, Pale Blue Eyes, which is a cover of a Velvet Underground song from their um, Dead Letter Office LP. Good morning, Vaqueros. It's DJ Doc V. I'm here with you for the next half hour. Uh, got some more great songs coming up uh, for you. But as we always do on uh, Office Hours, it's time to look at this day in history. And uh, on September 9th, 1956, the king of rock and roll teams up with the TV's reigning variety program as Elvis Presley appears on the Ed Sullivan Show for the first time. After earning big ratings for the Steve Allen Show, the Dorsey Brothers Stage Show, and the Milton Berle Show, Sullivan finally reneged on his Presley ban. He was being banned initially, signing the controversial singing star to an unprecedented $50,000 contract for three appearances. 60 million viewers, or 82.6% of the TV viewers at the time, were tuning in. The appearance garnered the show's best ratings in two years and became the most watched TV broadcast of the 1950s. Um, it's it's really great. That new Elvis movie by Baz Luhrmann that I was talking about, it was really good. You see it? It was really, really good. Uh, and they and they talk about it, uh, and, and I think he does such a good job of, of showing the reaction of women in the audience mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as Elvis Presley starts moving and moving his body around yeah. in certain ways. And <laughs> you really get that this is a visceral reaction by the, uh, uh, by the, by the, the women, the females in the, in the audience. And, uh, what, a, it's a, just a great, uh, again, it's, it, it's head spinning sometimes the movie because it's, it goes so fast and, uh, uh, you know, you see all these, man, that guy was a worker. Elvis was a worker, y'all. He earned his money. Holy smokes. Uh, how he didn't end up, uh, uh, you know, and he did end up in the hospital for exhaustion, right? Uh, no wonder uh, when you look at that. So, yeah, this uh, on this day in 1956, uh, Elvis Presley uh, does his first inaugural uh, show on the Ed Sullivan Show. Uh, uh, on this day in 2007, the NFL nabs the New England Patriots in the Spygate scandal. They catch them illegally videotaping coaches, co- coaching sig- signals of the New York Jets from an unauthorized location in the week one game in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Uh, the scandal that the media dubbed Spygate. Uh, that's, uh, of course, then a couple of years later, we had Deflategate, when <laughs> where they had the, the footballs that were deflated. Oh, goodness. What about the, those crooked, cro- crooked as a dog's hind, as a dog's hind leg, right? Yep. Uh, in 1776, on September 9th, the Continental Congress formally declares the name of the new nation to be the United States of America. This is an interesting piece. I didn't know about this. This replaced the term United Colonies, which had been in general use. Uh, so that was the Congressional Declaration on this day in 1776. On this day in 1971, the uprising at Attica Prison in New York begins. Prisoners seize control of the maximum security Attica Correctional Facility near Buffalo, New York, beginning on September 9, 1971. Later that day, state police retook most of the prison, but 1,281 convicts occupied an exercise field called D-Yard, where they actually were holding hostages. It was bananas. There's a great uh, podcast that goes to, I think it's called American Scandal, has a uh, multi-episode where uh, he talks about the Attica prison uprising. Uh, so that's really interesting. Uh, in uh, 1942, the Japanese bombed the U.S. mainland, uh, a Japanese float plane dropping incendiary bombs on an Oregon state forest. This was the first uh, air attack on the U.S. mainland in the war. Launching from the Japanese sub I-25, Nobuo Fujita piloted his light aircraft over the state of Oregon and firebombed Mount Emily. Uh, So that was that day in history. Also, on this day in history, 1850, California becomes the 31st state. Though it had only been part of the United States for less than two years, California becomes the 31st state in the Union 
without ever even having been a territory, on September 9, 1850. And finally, uh, in 1939, at the Fox Theater in Riverside, California, audiences get a surprise showing of Gone with the Wind, which the theater manager shows as a second feature. Uh, the producer, David Selznick, sat in the back and observed the audience reaction to the highly anticipated movie about the antebellum South. Um, so Gone with the Wind, the classic uh, film, uh, won all kinds of awards, uh, you know, still viewed as one of the greatest films, although the content's a little bit more controversial these days, of course. Uh, and then finally, in uh, 1919, the Boston Police Department went on strike. Uh, the infamous Boston police strike in 1919 caused an uproar around the nation, confirming the growing influence of unions on American life. Uh, we just had Labor Day, right? Yeah. Don't forget about that. Uh, as society changed in the 20th century, police were expected to act more professionally. How dare they demand better working conditions and wages? How dare they? What the you know, they should just do it, right? Because that's... A, no. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, if you work, uh, you, you know, it's a, it's a business relationship. Of uh, you, should, you shouldn't just uh, uh, have people dictating to you. It's not the military. Nope. Right? When you're in the military, you sign a contract that says, uh, you know... I, I can't do anything. Uh, I, I'm at the. I'm at. I am government property uh, for the next four years, six years, whatever long, however long. But uh, not police. So uh, interesting. Boston. Boston Police Department on strike, 1919. That's this day in history, uh, as we do every week. Um, thanks for sticking with us, Vaqueros. It's 84 degrees in beautiful Edinburgh. Looks like uh, maybe some clouds this afternoon, a slight, and I mean single-digit slight, chance of rain in the afternoon and evening. Expect a high of about 93. Um, not that bad, you know, as, as valley weather goes. For the weekend, uh, 94 tomorrow, 93 on Sunday, 93 on Monday. I mean, you know, same as it ever was, right? We talked to the, the talking head, same as it ever was. Uh, that's what we can expect here uh, in the weather uh, coming up this weekend. So uh, back to the music. Um, we kind of had it on a low, uh, uh, a little chill the first half hour, but let's get back with some rock and roll, baby. How about a little Blue Oyster Cult with Don't Fear the Reaper? A little Led Zeppelin with Dire Maker here on Vaquero Radio. Good morning. This is DJ Doc V. You're listening to Office Hours on Vaquero Radio, the Valley's student station. Before that Led Zeppelin, we heard a little Blue Oyster Cult with Don't Fear the Reaper. That's a good one. That's a good one. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, as we do every office hours, uh, I have selected a poem that I will read to you this morning. This is from the 2022 edition of Gallery Magazine, available on campus. Make sure you pick up your copy. Uh, it's got lots of great student work in there. Uh, uh, you know, vaqueros are very creative students, uh, to say the least. Uh, but let me get my old glasses on here. And uh, we'll get to the poem I have selected today, which is titled, When We Get to the Weird of Us, by Kaylee Hernandez. I used to think I wanted to be cool, but I'm not. I don't think I ever was. I was always too smart, too fat, too nice to be cool. I'm taking these books off the shelf for a class, and I realize how weird I've always been. My favorite books are about offbeat people who feel like they don't belong. Stories that are painted in bright colors and told with pictures and words. Always pictures. The pictures bring the light. There's always light. My favorite books have always been weird, unforgiving. I feel like that's fitting. Me too. I'm pretty unforgiving these days. You either like me or you don't. I don't mind. It's not really on my mind or on my radar to be cool anymore because when we get into the weird of us, when we dip into that sauce, it's the true essence. It's what makes me, and I wouldn't change that for anyone. I wish I could tell 13-year-old me to embrace those weird books and bands no one else listened to because now it's what I love most about myself. It's what I make art about. The weird is where I find my light. That's a poem titled, When We Get to the Weird of Us, by Kaylee Hernandez. That's in the 2022 edition of Gallery Magazine, which is available 
all over campus. Make sure you check out a copy. As I said, vaqueros are very, very creative. Uh, and there's lots of great student creative work in there. Poems, uh, illustrations, short stories, art. Uh, make sure you check it out. Uh, it is 10.53, and so we've only got probably time for, well, one more song. We might as well kick him in the teeth on the way out the door, right? Here's a little Rage Against the Machine with Wake Up on Vaquero Radio. Have a great Friday, Vaqueros. Mm-hmm.